Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. So this is, uh, you, you heard earlier from Anthony that we have uh, six focus areas, and this is under models and data. We've actually heard a lot about models today, for example, for foundation models for chemistry, and I'll come back to that a little bit. The purpose of this project is to look at some problems that we're dealing with in uh, having data sets that we can trust as being truly open access for people to use. You may have heard that in the U.S. there have been lawsuits against OpenAI by the newspaper, the New York Times, among other people, claiming that you know, copyrighted information has been used in those models in an illegal way. So how can we create really good data sets that can be used for training, for tuning, for application architectures like RAG that are completely open for use that have no uh, bad data in them in terms of copyright data and so forth. Um, and when you look at a data set, a couple of things come to mind, like where did this data actually come from? Was it acquired legally? Uh, it, it, it may have a license like the Apache license, but we've discovered at IBM that sometimes you look into the data set and find content that cannot legally be copyrighted with the Apache license. Um, so you want to know what content is there. Does it have copyrighted material? How, can you trust it? Does it have propaganda or, or something like that? And if, if those data sets exist, where do I find them? So we're trying to solve these problems that people have. Uh, increasingly important problems as people think about the legal risk, you know, exposure to liability and things like that. So uh, I'll go through each of these in more detail, but we're first trying to define what we mean when we say open data. What does that really mean? Then catalog open data sets, no matter where they live in the world. Most of them are in Hugging Face today, of course, but they're also in other places like the Common Crawl data set. We also really want to promote a diversity of data sets. We heard from JSR this morning that they really need more data sets for chemistry, for semiconductors, for other things. Time series is another area we heard about today where there's a shortage of good data sets for both application uh, specific uh, problems as well as general problems. So how can we promote creation of data sets, not just for language, but for other modalities, other needs? And finally, what tools can we build that other people can use for processing data, for analyzing its quality, things like that? First, the, open, uh, the question of open data. W what are good licenses that we can use? There are really several that are available. When I analyzed Hugging Face data, I found probably 20 or 30 valid licenses that are generally considered good for use. It'd be nice if there was one license, but the world is diverse. We also want to know where the data came from. Does it really have a clear provenance that it came from a, a, you know, a source where it's legal to use it? as opposed to, say, a copyrighted source. And, what, and when that data has gone through transformations, filtering, aggregation, things like that, has it been tracked so that we know exactly what's happened to that data since it first emerged? And we'd love for your help to build these kinds of capabilities, to build this definition, and then the tools to actually verify them. So that's where the validation tools come in. First, we'd like to check data sets that claim to be open to make sure they really are. But also, we'd like to create new data sets from existing ones. One of my favorite examples is if you take a crawl of the internet, it will have lots of bad stuff in it, like hate speech, uh, propaganda, and whatnot. Now, that can actually be good if you're a researcher studying hate speech propaganda and, and detecting it. But if you're developing a model like Llama that you want people to be able to use and trust is not going to swear at you or, sen or put out propaganda, you'd like to be able to extract the good data out of the bad. So we want to be able to create new data sets from the existing open data sets. And we need your help to do that too, to help build those tools. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate the catalog today. There's a slide that says demo. But because we're, I'm the person that's blocking you from your lunch, I will not take the time to demo this, the catalog, but I encourage you to click through here and in particular read this paragraph at the beginning because I talk about what I discovered analyzing Hugging Face data, that of the 340,000 data sets for the metadata we could extract, 
Only 84,000 actually have a license. So the rest I had to throw away because I did, just didn't know. And then of those, we found other problems. And we came out down to, I think it was 18,000 or maybe it was a little higher than that, data sets that seemed to be good. Uh, and that was just a, with a, a very simple filter. But anyway, I encourage you to look at the catalog. You'll find a, an entry for languages that are tagged for, with Japanese content, for example, that I would have showed you if we had time. So we want a diversity of data sets across, you know, not just language, but also the time series, chemistry, material science, video, multimedia, and other things, and even uh, various ways of analyzing data or, or different formats for, for data. This is where the demo would be, but we'll skip it today so you can get to lunch. And finally, anything that we build is open source, so we'd like you to be able to use these tools for your own analysis, for your own data production, one of the things that I'm not talking about much here is there is a very important legitimate use for proprietary non-open data. All of you probably work for organizations that have data that can't be made public for commercial reasons or maybe it's uh, you has uh, you have private data for people or whatever. We want to make sure that it's easy for people to work with the data sets they have even if they can't be in the open. So this is an area where we're thinking about different ways to support this. So last slide, I encourage you to join us. Uh, the, the QR code on the bottom left is my LinkedIn page if you're interested in connecting. And then the, the bigger QR code is to the website. But we'd really love your participation. We'd love your feedback about how useful this is so far. It's early days for us. But you know, help us build the world's best catalog of open source data. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, uh, so uh, if they have a question? Sure. Do you have any questions or anything? Okay, everybody wants to have lunch. Lunch, yes. <laughs> lunch. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Dean. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Uh, so please bear with me.